Welcome to the second episode of how to feed yourself if you don't want to cook or go out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Watch this. First things first, we're going to be putting our little rubber glove on. This way we don't have to wash our hands before or after eating. Beauty. Second, we get our Ziploc bag. Open wide, very nice. Third, find some form of a sharp knife. Should have been prepared, but here we are. Okay, sharp knife, here it is. I bought from the supermarket a small bag. This is like 12 ounces, uh, 13 ounces. Of Italian meatballs. They were frozen. I had them out for two hours. They're defrosted now. Cut the bag. Pour meatballs into a Ziploc bag. There you go. Let's try one. Still cold. Soft. Tastes like Italian meatballs. Step two. finish eating meatball. Step two, go to the supermarket and buy pre-cooked chicken. This is grilled chicken. Um, this is, um, they were on sale. So it's half a pound in here, I think, eight ounces. Is it eight ounces? Yes. It's half a pound. It was three for $10. Normally they are $5 each. Take your trusty knife and pour your chicken right over your meatballs. Okay. One. I get different flavors. First one was just grilled chicken. Second one is uh, chicken fajita. So I assume they're already somewhat seasoned. And this goes right in there. Oh yeah, it looks a little different. Got some color on it, got a little bit of a suntan. And then the last one is a rotisserie chicken. And we're gonna take that, open up the bag, and just pour it into uh, the larger bag. Now we're taking all of our three little small bags here, roll them up. Fold them over and stick them in our meatball bag. Beauty. Next, we gotta try some of the chicken. Okay, it's juicy. That was grilled chicken. Why you just chicken? It's all right. Well, this would be standard grilled chicken. Yeah, excellent. All right. Next, we're taking a can of spam, especially if they're on sale. Three eighty-nine. There's another 12 ounces of uh, meat in here. This one is, is real Hormel bacon. Look at that, real bacon. All right, oops, uh, like that. All right, now we need to find a different kind of a knife. And luckily from yesterday's meal, Oh, okay, that fell out. I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, so we, we grabbed two of them yesterday and now it's our, to our advantage that we have a second set of utensils over here. All right, so if you're looking for the 
for the knife. We got our can of spam. And now we're gonna take our little knife and cut out little pieces. All right, it shouldn't be too difficult. The nice thing about the plastic knife here is that it molds itself a little bit to the shape of the meat or of the container. So you can get some nice irregular pieces out of it. All right, there's a little something, uh, what you call it in there. There's some jelly in there. That's okay, we want that too. There's probably a lot of flavor in there. Getting there, getting there, we're almost done. It's almost all out. Oh, come on, there you go. Even got a big piece. Right. We take our lid, go right back into the spam container. Open up our meatball container a little bigger and put the spam box right in there. All right, so, so far we have dealt with 90% of our garbage. This bag being the last 10%. All right, so do we need that knife still? Nah, not really. That's done. Next we are doing, well, well, this is a big question. So we got a fork over here, right? So you can just dig in here with a fork and eat if that's what you desire. Or you can put some of those famous uh, whatever spicy sauce this is, shake it up a little bit. Take the lid off, pour some in here. It's probably huh. smelled spicy. Probably shouldn't do that, but here we are. There's a little sluggish coming up. Now we got another thing on here. Dip it in. Yep, dibbity doop doop doop. Yeah, that's not that bad actually. Not as spicy as I had feared. And they go a little knife. Put it back where we found it. So everything is in its proper place. And here you have it. We are having our dinner. We are having eight ounces of meatballs. It is eight ounces, right? Double checking. Uh, 12, no, 13 ounces. 13 ounces of meat beef, beef balls. We have one and a half pounds of chicken and 12 ounces of um, um, uh, what you call that stuff, uh, spam. A little bit of hot sauce and that's it. If you wanted to, you can stick this back. I would, I would add a little bit of water to the back. You can stick this in a microwave the way it is and then heat it up a little bit if that's what you desire. Otherwise, this is dinner. Essentially, zero carbohydrates or protein. Remember yesterday I said the more protein and the less carbohydrates in the form of starches and sugars, the longer your meal will last you. This, this bag of food will last me for 24 hours. I eat only once a day, meat only.
Well, some people will argue about the health factor of having a meat-only diet. Uh, we can have the same argument or discussion about a vegetarian or vegan diet. Uh, we all have our own beliefs and principles. You eat what you want to eat, I eat what I want to eat. This is what I'm eating. And one meal is going to last me all day long, 24 hours. Wow. When you when you consider how this is divided up, imagine I had 13 ounces of food for breakfast. 13 ounces, uh, that was essentially the entire bag of meatballs, right? Um, that easily uh, equals a uh, breakfast sandwich or something, or cereal, or cereal with milk or whatever. Um, take the spam as 12 ounces that was a light lunch and I would really consider that a light lunch at that moment and then the uh, the rest another pound and a half of the food that I'm having here is essentially dinner how how big is a dinner portion to you depending on I mean, sure depends on who you are and what you're eating um, if I'm assuming well eight ounces of starches eight ounces of veg eight ounces of uh, meat that's a pound and a half I'm eating the same volume of food that other people are eating. As a matter of fact, I probably eat less. You know why? I do not snack in between. No need for snacks. This is satisfying enough. If I really felt like and in the beginning of a diet change, there might be a time where I feel like having a snack along the way. Uh, just go to any kind of deli section and get uh, a half a pound, right, eight ounces of rare roast beef. Eat that the way it is. That will, um, you know, satisfy your, your little hunger. And it's definitely more healthy than any of the snack foods you can find in a store. Let's dig in. No chopping, no slicing and dicing, no excessive garbage, no food waste, no cooking, no heating up your kitchen and house, no energy needed. It's fast, quick, delicious. You rather want to have a salad? Go for it. More meat for me. <laughs> 